Well, I don't think that's supposed to be there. All right, guys, so we got the Steam Boss machine out today. Unfortunately, we are not doing any cleaning. Uh, we are right by the water. This is the day after the hurricane uh, came through. As you can see that this house here was affected. Um, you can see where the high water line is here. Just a good two feet uh, around the perimeter of the home. Look at the door. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, this home here uh, got hit pretty hard. So we are here today uh, sucking up some of this water. Uh, to get it ready for the restoration company. Unfortunately, um, the areas here have no power, which has been a, a difficult thing um, as they can't plug in their machines, can't use their dehumidifiers and stuff like that. So we're hoping that the power comes back on soon. But uh, yeah, this is just a devastating loss for a lot of these houses over here. This is not the only one, this whole entire street. It's pretty much like this. So, I mean, look at the, look at the standing water in here. I mean, I'm wearing my boots. Yeah, and that's after a full day after the uh, the water has come down. So we're over here sucking this out today. Um, and hopefully one step closer to getting them back in their home. I've already done over here. As you can see how much better it's looking, but don't let it fool you that this floor is soaked with water underneath, uh, no doubt. So this whole thing's coming up. They're cutting the walls, they're doing all that, but uh, they can't do it until we at least get the standing water out of here. We got John sucking water today. What do you think of this place, man? It's a horrible day for Florida right now, man. It is. I feel so bad. Yeah, this, this is a rough one, but uh, it's not the only one, unfortunately. See the carnage here in the garage. This is all just straight mud. Um, I mean, look at this whole block here. This is all just straight mud, man, a lot of cleanup to do. A lot of seawater. damage on the kitchen there. Look at water levels. Yeah, water levels on the uh, cabinets. Bang. Yeah, a lot of water in here. It's great to show you guys how much. Look at it. Won't be here a little bit. This is the corner where it all came, came down to. Another room. This one is just just as bad. So much water. I didn't look in this bathroom. Uh, eh, bathroom's not too bad. This must have been any high side of the house. You can tell though, even the shower here is going down the drain. Crazy, crazy stuff, man. Don't mess with Mother Nature. Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely done. Steve, take your dirty shoes off of my house. <laughs> I just cleaned these floors. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm tracking mud all over. I wore my, my rain boots today. Get 
it's uh, very humid in here right now, so you guys can't see it, but that's obviously no AC, and it's still or pretty early in the morning. It's like 9.30, so just wait until like mid-afternoon, and uh, yeah, it's so humid in here. You can see where we've done so far. That's not even, it's not going to dry like at all. Oof, even in here, bath mats just soaked in the tub. You can see that the water actually came out of the drain. So serious stuff. Luckily, I think they uh, evacuated. I'm gonna put this right back in the tub. Oh man, this master is not any better. John, you messed up the baseboard, dude. Just kidding. It was already messed up. You got enough hose to get in there? In the darkness? Hundreds of gallons of water out of this place. I'm making a wake as I'm moving the hoses here. My feet are already so. Uh, I wore my rain boots. Well, you can wear these, but they won't fit your feet. But they barely fit my feet. Making pretty good progress, though. As you can see over here, we're going to have to go back into some areas because he did this already and water is just seeping out. So we'll go back one more time and try to get the residual. All right, so we are pretty much done. We're just going back and getting some of the residual stuff that it just keeps coming out uh, from underneath the flooring. But um, as you can see, it is uh, one million times better, at least uh, to start. Now, obviously all the flooring is coming out of this house as well as the cabinets, the walls, everything. But at least they can walk in here and kind of gather their belongings and stuff like that and not have to just walk around in mud. So. Um, that's gonna wrap up this one. Not sure if that's the end of this video or not. Uh, I hope everyone is safe out there uh, From the storm uh, we were spared pretty much our house is fine uh, Just the loss of power maybe for the next couple days, but who knows? Um, but yeah, a lot of people affected by this one and it wasn't even really that bad It was just storm surge like the winds were not that bad didn't really rain at all that much at all for a hurricane but the uh, the storm surge and then high tide right angle not good so I'm uh, gonna wrap up this one and uh, see who else we can help. Well, I don't think that's supposed to be there. Probably not. Look at that one. Oh, oh shit. The oh. Excuse my language, I'm Had sorry. to beep that out. <laughs> this floor may, may be done. Gosh dang. Not fun at all, dude. Ooh. Yeah. It, this is literally floating. Look at it. Wow. That's how you know it's Florida. It's working bare feet. Got the bare yeah, feet working. Like you do, Steve. Uh, what? Got gym shoes. Oh, you took them off. Cheater. <laughs> Uh, we're getting to the tail end here today. I'll tell you that much. A couple more rugs to suck out. I think we're gonna call it. Did you see that dock over there, bro? That boat's cracked over there. Oh my! It's going through neighborhoods. You can see everyone's stuff just piled up on the side of the street. It's crazy. All right, guys. Last stop of the day here. Look at it. This is a uh, terrazzo floor that we redid not too long ago, and another house just, uh, yeah, it's hard to see because the floor is so shiny, but water through the whole thing. So 
This is our last stop of the day. We are really tired. Not gonna film too much here. We're just gonna start sucking water. And uh, yeah, really devastating day for a lot of people. But uh, yeah, we get it. Yep, there's no other way. Start sucking her up. <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot in the house. Trying to tame the snake. Tame the snake. Yeah. We're just gonna let it, let it eat. Almost there. Now you can just see the natural shine of this floor. This is exactly why they wanted to do this floor, by the way, is for when this does happen, you know, you can pull these baseboards off and deal with the walls, but the flooring itself is gonna be good. Uh, we're gonna come back and just kind of rebuff it out. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be like nothing ever happened, at least with the floor. So uh, terrazzo is definitely a good idea if you're in a flood zone. All right, guys, I just walked in the door at my own home. Uh, it is pretty late, almost uh, eight o'clock at night. Very, very long day. Um, I feel uh, sorry for all the people affected by this storm and wish the best to everybody. Uh, I hope we helped out at least a handful of people today. And yeah, it was a long one, but uh, well worth it to know that we're helping out whoever we can. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate you watching all the content. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you all are safe out there and we'll see you all on the next video. Peace.